OK, we've got some more examples where we're looking at the range of the function. OK, and we're given the equations. What's different is that uh, now we're going to have some restricted ranges, uh, domains, sorry. So the domain, OK, for this one is going to be x is greater than or equal to naught. So whenever you've got a restricted domain, it introduces the fact we're going to have endpoints on our graph. There's going to be, the graph is going to begin when x is naught. So if we look, start by looking at our end point, there's just one here. There's just one end point for this domain, which is naught. When x is naught, I can work out what f of x is going to be. So f of naught is going to equal naught squared minus 1, which is minus 1. So I've got an end point of naught minus 1. OK, but now in the normal way, I can think about what either what the outcomes are for x and therefore what the outcomes could be for x squared minus 1. But I'm going to carry on sketching the graph every time because I think that's useful. So you can use your graphical calculator or you can say I've got x squared minus 1, which is going to be a parabola. OK, so it's going to be one of these. All right. Um, and it's a vertical translation. So I'm pretty sure that this our point is going to be on the y-axis, OK? And in fact, this is the point when x is naught. It's actually that point I've already found. So this is the point naught minus 1. So this must be a y-value of minus 1, OK? And my graph looks like this, OK? All right, but my graph is not yet correct because I've got only values of x greater than or equal to naught. So this point here has now got the status of an endpoint, and I'm not allowed to have any x's that are less than naught. So this part of the graph I'm going to get rid of, OK? So the actual part of the graph I've got is this, OK? And again, I ask the question, what kind of y values can I get out? And we can see that we can get this value, we can get all of these y values. There are points on the graph corresponding to all of the y values above that, but none of the ones below that. So therefore, the range, OK, when we're describing a range, we need to be talking about what f of x is allowed to equal. And we can see from our sketch that f of x is greater than or equal to minus 1. OK, so let's uh, carry on applying that idea. So here we've got x is greater than or equal to 1. So I've got an end point again. So my end point is going to be um, when x equals 1. And when x equals 1, f of x equals uh, x minus 1 squared, which is 1 minus 1 squared, which is naught. OK. And then I can use my knowledge of the graph. Now, this is in completed square form. OK. It may not look like completed square form, but this is um, a plus naught afterwards. It means I've got a square bracket with a number at the end. So my vertex, I can see, is going to be... Uh, this is the sine swap one, so 1 and naught. So it's got a vertex at 1 naught. Or you may prefer just using a translation of the x squared graph, because I've got minus 1 inside, so that's going to be a horizontal translation. OK, of uh, 1 naught. So whichever way you get there, we know that our graph is going to be a parabola. But this time it's shifted horizontally because the vertex, the mi minimum point, is now at 1 naught. OK, but I've got the end point. The end point was 1 naught, so this is an end point. I don't want any x's less than 1. So I don't want this part of the graph. That shouldn't be there. So this is the part of the graph that I want. OK, and what kind of y values, what is my range going to be? Well, my range is going to be all values that I can get of y, which is going to be from this minimum point. I can get a value of 0. that has got a y-coordinate of naught, And I can get all the y-coordinates above naught by getting these other points from the graph. So the range is going to be all values of y greater than or equal to naught, but I don't use the letter y. I call it f of x. So that's my range of that one.